Tonight in the trial of Marshawn Giles, the jury unanimously voted against his insanity plea, holding Giles fully accountable for the 15 charges he was found guilty of last week. Our Maddie Himes is outside the courthouse with the latest. Yeah, Giles' defense initiated this second phase of the trial when they entered that not guilty by reason of insanity plea, a rare plea to enter with a very low success rate. The plea asks the jury to answer two questions. One, at the time the crime was committed, did the defendant have a mental disease or defect? And two, as a result of the defect, was the defendant able to understand the wrongfulness of his actions or change his actions to abide by the law? The defense brought to the stand witnesses who detailed the man's mental Mental health history, but the state argued that Giles' actions were thoughtful and targeted, having attacked only his now ex-girlfriend and her children. Two of his charges will result in life sentences, and unlike if he were found not guilty by mental defect, he will spend those sentences in prison. Reporting in Madison, I'm Maddie Heimsch, News 3 Now.